I'm not going to go directly into the Torah, but I'm going to go into something that a lot of people say is, why does Yahuwah not come back for his people? Why does he let evil increase? Why does he let all these things? And he says here in Second Peter, he says in verse 9, because he goes over these things, he goes, in verse 8, he goes, But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that Yahuwah, that one day is with Yahuwah, and a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. Yahuwah is not slack concerning his promise, and some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us, word, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of Yahuwah will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens will, shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt in fervent heat. The earth also, and the works that are therein, shall be burned up. So that's as far as I'm going to go with this. But a lot of people say, why does Yahuwah let evil happen? Why does he says he's not slack concerning his promise. He knows that evil is going on. He says he wants people to repent. He wants people to come to him. He wants people to find the path. And that is the answer to those who are who are there. And he says, Yahuwah will come as a thief in the night. He said, he will come when no one's expecting it. And that does not mean the rapture. That means he is going, you're going to hear the trumpet sound. And that means you are going to, we are going to begin our second exodus, our journey to Zion. When this world comes to pass, he is going to save us out of this out of this end time, that does not mean we're not going to go through the tribulation that is stated throughout Revelation. We are going to go through it. We are going to be tested our faith, and we are going to prove ourselves worthy of Yahuwah's kingdom. So, if anybody has any questions on if Yahuwah does not see what's going on, why does he let evil roam, why does he let this and, and so and so forth happen, then this is the answer. He's not slack. He knows the promise. He wants everyone to repent. He wants everyone to come back. He is giving everyone time before he comes back and decides judgment is going to be cast.